Tommy Gut from Tommy Gut Photography, and today I have one question for you guys. If I'm not the one who presses the shutter button of my camera, can I still be the copyright owner? The reason I'm asking this is because today, on the main page of the uh, Telegraph newspaper, which is a, a British newspaper, uh, there's this great article about this English photographer called David Slater. Uh, David Slater, in 2011, went to Indonesia and, in an attempt to get a perfect shot of what is called the crested, uh, crested black macaque. And um, so he got, he got there with all his gear and he had, you know, months of preparation and everything. And during the shoot, one of the macaques stole his camera, pressed the shut button and ended up having hundreds of selfies and, and other uh, type of photos, most of which were uh, rubbish. But a handful uh, turned out to be great, such as the two that you have on your screen. Well... Interestingly, those photos uh, made it all around the world and con contributed to uh, David Slater's fame, uh, but um, they also ended up being on uh, Wikipedia. And so Wikimedia, which is the organization who takes care of the content library for uh, Wikipedia, never asked permission um, from David to actually publish those photos. And so David actually asked Wikipedia slash Wikimedia to remove uh, the photos, saying that he owns the copyright and no permission has been granted. Um, Wikimedia has come back to him and interestingly claimed that, well, sorry, Mr. Photographer, you do not own the copyright of those photos because uh, actually it's the macaque itself, or himself, whatever you want to call it, uh, who owns the copyright, as is the one who pressed the shutter button. So, um, it's a bit absurd. Right? It's really absurd. So, to David's point, um, he did a lot of preparation for that shoot. Uh, he paid for the trip, and I think he went around £2,000 at a time, and he's got about £5,000 worth of equipment. To this you add the insurance, uh, or insurances, you have all the gear like computers, and, and all the necessary tools that you need to actually complete the whole photography process. And, you know, he's the one who planned all this and spent all that money for that shoot. It doesn't matter if at the end of the day, it's the monkey, or sorry, macaque, who pressed the, uh, the shutter button. You know, what happened if, if your camera falls and for some reason the tr it's triggered, get a shot, do you still own the shot? Well, maybe according to Wikimedia, you might not. Um, and, you know, some of you may think, okay, this is a... Str stretched scenario, you know, it's quite extreme, that will never happen to us. Well, here's another example. A few years ago, I made that shot, and I do say I made that shot. What I did is I set up the uh, the lightning here, the lighting here in my uh, in my home studio, and uh, make sure the focus and everything was on tripod and, and all, and I did not uh, use a remote control then. I don't know why I didn't use a remote control. I simply asked my wife to come and press the shutter. So her sole contribution to this photo is, uh, beside her support in my art, is has been to press the shutter. Question at the end of the day is, who owns the copyright? Well, I do believe that I actually own the copyright because I went and I drove this whole process and Yes, she pressed the button, but it's a technicality as far as I'm concerned. So I want to. This is my opinion. I want to know what you think of it. Whether you're an amateur, whether you're a professional, it doesn't matter. I want to know what you think of this. Should David um, own the copyright? Does he own the copyright of those photos? And interestingly, that may end up in a lawsuit. But the lawsuit may cost David tens of thousands of pound to um, to get his um, to get his right back. So, um, let me know. Uh, so, anyway, David, if you ever see this video, and I'm going to try to reach out to you, uh, please note that I support you 100% in your claim, in your battle. And I wish you good luck with everything. So, until next time, this is Tommy Good saying, if you like it, well, capture it, but watch out. you got to press the button if you want to own the copyright, at least according to Wikipedia or Wikimedia. Do we care? I don't know. Ciao.